Hey YouTube! In our last video, we looked at how the amps and speakers work. In this video, we're actually going to look at kind of a virtual amp in Pure Data. And that's going to help us set our volumes of our sound art installation. And we're also going to look at how you can set up some programming so that different speakers are able to fade in and out depending on where people are in the installation. Okay, so we're going to jump in and take a look at how that works right now. We're in PD Extended and my DSP switch is on. So we're actually starting a fresh patch this time. We're not using the one that had the little sound files playing back. I'm going to do a put, which is command one on the Mac and DAC one, two, three, four. If your sound card has the four outputs that we've discussed and I am going to set use an, an oscillator this for this example and this is very important that we set our volume low and we're going to do that by using an a multiplication object with a with that's an asterisk in a tilde and we'll set the volume to 0 0.1 so that it's much lower than its full output. And let's hear how that happens. So there we go. If I had headphones on, that would still be pretty, pretty good um, volume. And but we're hearing you're hearing it through my camera. Let's disconnect that for a second. And I'm going to show you what happens if we put a V slider in here which is going to help adjust the volume. Now I would not, this is something to be very careful, I would not just plug the V slider into this multiplication object which is our amplifier because if we right click it and go to properties we find out that it's actually going to go up to the number 127 which is crazy high and so I'm going to hit 1 and there's an OK, OK button that's been cut off from here. But just trust me that I hit OK. And so now it's going from 0 to completely 1. And you can already hear through my computer speaker that it's pretty, it's, that can go pretty loud. OK, so how do we get it to fade up and down. Well, there's this thing called the line object. Line looks like this. And there's two versions of line. There's also line at what is called control rate. But we're using the this one without the tilde. And I'm going to plug it into here, into our volume slider. And using put message there's two messages that I want to put in here so the first one says I want you to go to the number one and take 5,000 milliseconds to get there and the second one is going to say I want you to go back down to zero and I want you to take 5,000 milliseconds to go there so that's five seconds and let's plug them into our line object and see if they behave the way I think they should. So we we can either lock the patch using by getting out of edit mode or in my case I'm just hitting command and the message and there we go. It's going up, 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 full. Excellent. So coming out of this channel of the DAC, it's actually coming out the left, in my case, the left side of the, of the sound card, and, and I'm using the internal speakers. But um, let's try taking, 
let's make what we can, what we can do is just copy all of this paste it and now I have a second oscillator with the same settings and I'm actually going to change that to go at 510 uh, 510 Hertz and I'm going to have it go out the other side of the deck and so it's just slightly higher and if I hit the number one on that it's going to go up and then down perfect so the first thing I can do is if if someone's entered into a corner of the exhibit or if whatever type of installation we're doing and this can be triggered by uh, any type of sensor like with the Arduino and uh, Microsoft Connect is another potential sensor that can find out where people are in a space I can set a bang that will say go to I want this one to turn on and I really I want to make sure that this other one is not on so I, I want to drag a cable all the way to zero and I'm just make sure you can see that it's gone to zero so as you can guess now if the person goes into this other side of the exhibit I want this second oscillator to go on and the first one to go off so let's see what happens on that so that's going on now the person is walking over to this side of the room and they've triggered it perfect and we can duplicate it again for a fourth section of the room and we can also set a bang to turn them both off automatically and you would want to put in a comment to say something like everything off so you know when you look at it later on that what's happening and I would comment in I would comment in section one and um, we can use command five for section two so that's pretty much it for setting the volume and definitely be careful when you plug in that V slider into this multiplication object as I remind you if you use the default number of 127 it's super loud okay that concludes our sound art installation in pure data series feel free to post any comments or questions or share this video with your best friend in our next video we're going to be taking a look at how RGB which is red green and blue LEDs work and we're also going to get those working in pure data as well okay see you soon